Hey my loves, it's Caroline. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been such a long time um, of me being back on my channel, but I'm back on my grind and I just have some exciting news overall to tell you guys. And if you haven't noticed my cute little hairstyle, I've never done my hair like this. I didn't do it, my friend did it. She actually did my mom and my hair last night. And I love it, I'm feeling it like very cute. It reminds me of like summer Caribbean vibes even though I'm home and not really on a vacay, but nonetheless, I'm super excited to inform you guys about what's been going on in my life. And yeah, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So, the first exciting news is that I got a little puppy, a little cutie patootie. Oh my God, she's just so scrumptious, look at her. She looks very ghetto and chopped up right now because Little old me decided to give her a haircut now. Um, I usually send, I had a dog before her. her, her name was Julia and she passed away. So she's in doggy heaven right now. Um, and she was the same breed of Maltese. If you guys wanna know the story about how she passed away, cause it was like a freaking crazy traumatizing story. Um, I can definitely do a story time, but um, my grandma and I, wanted the same breed and i definitely believe in um adopt or don't shop but reality is you're not gonna find a maltese at an adoption shelter so it did have to drop some big bucks on her but she is so worth it she's just a chunk of love and um so the reason why i cut her hair on my own was because she had just gotten the rabies vaccination and she just got the bordetella so um, you need the board teller in order for her to get her, um, to go to a freaking grooming place. So I was just like, you know what, let me just cut it for now and she'll look a little bit chopped. And then, um, after her hair grows out, obviously I'll take her to the groomers and she looks super cute. Um, because I love when they do the puppy cut on them and put the little bow and they just smell like lavender and love and... They know how to like really cut their hair and get all the gunk out of their eyes because she's just sassy and she doesn't let me do nothing no you don't you cry and you bite and you think you run things um i think she's a little bit italian that's why i named her bella because she's a boss boss says um i'm so corny sometimes but yeah she's just my little pudding um so I got her from Central Park Puppies, which is in Yonkers, and um, I paid for her $2,800. That did include the $300 fee that is for them to deliver her. So you can either pick it up at Yonkers or they can deliver her for you, and they delivered her for me. And you can also buy everything you need for her there, like food, um, crates shampoo treats anything you need they pretty much have it um so i did get a bunch of stuff just because i didn't want to go to the pet store during covid it was just like a lot of madness but um yeah and she was so so little guys she was literally like under two pounds she was a tiny i was so scared to hold her she was very sleepy she was just a little baby and now she's my little baby and it's actually funny that i'm uploading this now because today is national dog day or puppy day so my mommy my little bella so yeah the great thing is that she has a little angel protecting her in heaven which is juliet and she's just they're just so therapeutical dogs and yeah i love her so i have my little papa I have my little pup. Oh, she got to go 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 I'm a puppy. I'm a puppy. 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 Um, so she's a sweetheart. I'll let her run around. And also, today is the first day that I close. What was that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Today is the first day that I closed her crate. Like, I put it away and she's no longer in it because it was taking a lot of space in my room. And she's not so, so tiny anymore where I need to, like, 24 7 have her um being watched or anything she needs some more independence and she's bilingual she knows spanish and english now because we don't play in the spanish household 
So, si yo digo que no, Bella, significa que no. You see, she stopped right now. She knows the dealio. Um, so, yeah, the other news, which is like, ah, it's so crazy. I honestly I don't even know. But, guys, I'm pretty sure, like, 99.9% .9 that I'm pregnant. Um, I took two pregnancy tests from CVS. And they both came out positive. Um, my nipples are also super tender. And they're never like that unless I'm pregnant. Um, so, yeah. And I missed my period. My last period was the 13th of July. And we're already... I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's like August something. August something it is for sure. Like 20 something. But I am hoping that it's a girl just because i have a boy already my leo patilio um i mean honestly the most important thing is that the baby is healthy because i didn't know i was pregnant so your girl was drinking a little but um i also drank with my son not on purpose again i didn't know that i was pregnant with him at the time but everything pans out fine so in the name of god i hope that everything is fine with the baby and yeah that is my little life up here's to my son leo and leo what do you think about mommy having a little baby in her belly because because i want a baby boy already you want a baby boy yeah. not a baby sister no oh why not a little sister because you have I won't get baby brother and you will get baby sister. So what does that mean? That I'm going to have twins? What is it called? Fraternal twins? Oh boy. Guys, can you imagine if I were to get twins? <sighs> that would be a lot. But can I have a little kush? I love you. Say bye to everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, YouTubers. <laughs>